So this morning I'm gonna teach you how to make an Irish cream cold brew from Starbucks, but at home. It tastes identical, but I gave it its own name and I call it the Irish cream salty dog cold brew. You can find it on my Instagram. I've done this recipe before, but it's absolutely perfect and I have the cups for you as well. So you can just get these on Amazon. I'll link them below. I promise I won't forget. I know I have a bad habit of forgetting. And then you have your natural lid that they come with. So it's perfect for those drinks that you get the cold foam on top. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take this sea salt caramel and drizzle it all inside of the cup. There you go, perfect. Okay, now I'm just gonna take my Stoke cold brew and pour it to about the top of the ice. Yes, I can't wait to have a sip of this already. Then I'm gonna take my handy dandy little mini, ooh, I'm gonna take my handy dandy little mini pitcher and I'm gonna put my creamer in it and go ahead and froth it. So you don't need much because you'll see when you froth it up, it becomes a lot more than what it looks like. Or if you have an electric frother, you can use that. I prefer my handheld frother. It's just really good. Look at the froth it makes. It's amazing. All right, then you're gonna take your froth. You are going to pour it on top of your cold brew coffee. And this will literally taste exactly like the Starbucks drink. So satisfying. And add your top and you are good to go. Does this not look absolutely delicious? So easy. All right, good morning. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed my little coffee recipe. It is so delicious. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you the best cheeseburger casserole. I have never made this before until the other day and I'm gonna put it in this video so you guys can see it. And then we're going to head to Walmart and see what's new. I'm gonna bring you back and give you a grocery haul. So this is gonna be such a fun video. Make sure you stay tuned to the end. If you're new, I would love to have you subscribe. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get this crazy day started. So I am going to be sharing with you how to make this yummy and easy recipe called cheeseburger casserole. The first thing you're gonna do is take one pound of ground beef and put it in your pan. And I like to season everything with anti no nos You do not need any additional salt or pepper with this. So that's what I'm seasoning my meat with. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start chopping up my onions. And I want to kindly thank Meeson for sponsoring today's video. This is the Meeson Chef's Knife and I cannot tell you how much easier it's made my life in the kitchen. I cannot stand to chop up vegetables. It's just one of my dreaded chores, but the Meeson knife makes it so much easier. And I think in the past why I dreaded cutting up veggies and stuff like that is because my knives were so dull and I would buy the cheapest thing from the store that I could find and you get what you pay for truly. Meeson Chef Knife is only $75 and that's before the promo code that you can use that I will link down below and that's half the price of other premium brands you will find. The Chef's Knife is one of the single-handedly most important items in your kitchen and you can save 20% by using my code Carla McKenzie on their website Meeson.com and of course I will leave that down in the description box for you as well. After you get done adding in your onions, you're gonna go ahead and just cook this on about medium high, add some pepper until it is soft and brown, and then you are going to drain it. Once drained, you're gonna go ahead and add it back to your pan, and then you're gonna go ahead and chop up your garlic cloves. Once you have your garlic ready, you're gonna go ahead and add it to the pan and cook it for an additional one minute. The next ingredient you're gonna add is this Worcestershire sauce and you're gonna add two tablespoons total. And then after that, you're gonna go ahead and add this tomato paste. I'm gonna add about two tablespoons to that and then I'm gonna go ahead and mix it in really, really well until it's fully all covered in the tomato paste. Once you have your ground beef coated with the tomato paste, you wanna go ahead and add four cups of beef broth. 
Once you have your four cups of beef broth in there, you are automatically ready to go ahead and add in 16 ounces of noodles. Once you add in your noodles, you're gonna wanna let them cook for about five minutes, stir, and then come back, let them cook another five minutes, and stir, and then you'll be ready to add the next ingredient, which is sour cream. And then you're also gonna add about a half a cup of milk. Now, I added only about a tablespoon and a half of sour cream because it's just not my favorite, but you wanna cook this on low and stir occasionally, and then go ahead and add your cheese. You're gonna need a total of three and a half cups, but you're gonna add in one cup at a time and stir it up really, really good. And then at the very end, you're gonna add your cheese on top. Then you wanna go ahead and cover it and make sure the heat is on medium and let it set for a few minutes. I also wanna add in some really good things you could add to this recipe are sweet relish, classic yellow mustard, and ketchup. These are all good to make it taste even better. And then this is what it turns out like when the cheese is all melted and you've kinda of let it sit for a little bit. It is absolutely delicious. We paired this with some garlic knots and they were so good and I added a little bit of garlic butter to the top of them and this was a big hit. Alex took this to work for like two days and the girls absolutely loved it. All right, so we just got to Ingles. I thought I would stop by here first because the coffee I showed you, the Irish cream creamer is so hard to find and this coffee is like the best. It tastes just like Starbucks Irish cream cold brew. I'm out of breath because I was talking to Mandy and Jessica and we were laughing so hard because I said I was gonna run for president. And I'm not joking. I'm running for president. I'm making it official in this video. I'm running for president. Vote for me in 2024. Now let's go into Ingles. Okay, y'all know I'm gonna look around while I'm in here and see if I find anything new. Have y'all tried any of these Lay's chips? I feel like I haven't seen the Simply Ruffles or the Simply Sea Salt before. Ooh, these look good, all dressed up. These are always the best chips. Anything that says all dressed up. We got some glazed lemon flavor pie over here. We got an apple pie. What are these, are these eggs? Candy cakes, eggs, baskets, something, I don't know. The lemon donuts have been back for a while. Ooh, have y'all seen these? These are the Annie's Organic Bunnies, but they are now a cheesier taste. Okay, so in my last video, I showed the Taki tortilla shells. They were like hard shell tacos in the old El Paso brand. I did not know that they had the bowls, like the mini bowls. I saw somebody show those, and then I saw these over here that I've never seen before. The I love to get the stand and stuff, and these have a hint of lime. Okay, what is this concoction? Oh, this is pretty cool. This is $10 at Ingles. It's a little stand and it has all your little spoons and stuff on it. I like that. These cups are also really cute. Like, I didn't even know where to go first. I really like the orange one. Like, just because. For no reason at all. I want to get it for my coffee, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to do it. Have you guys seen these maple and pecans honey bunches of oats? I've never seen these before. They don't have a price tag, so thinking they could be new, but I could be wrong. And just in case you didn't know, they're coming out with a strawberry milkshake, a cinnamon, and like a revamped chocolate Frosted Flakes. But I'm most excited about the strawberry milkshake. Like strawberry milkshake Frosted Flakes gets in my mouth. Look what they have. And I'm going to grab it because they're pretty well stocked in their creamers right now but this is like my go-to right now. Okay, we're at Walmart now, so we're gonna do a little shopping in some other sections before we hit up the grocery aisles. So, let's go. So, I know these are new, these Pioneer Woman pitchers. They're really cute. I don't know how much they are. And then look at these like little salad bowls. These are really cute. They have a couple different designs. They've got these plates, which I haven't seen these plate designs before. They also have the little bowls as well. Ooh, I like this. This is really pretty. Ooh, and the yellow. There's the drop of the video. Good thing it didn't break, but this yellow plate is so pretty. Ooh, look at this. 
this is cool. This is like, you know, one of those like snack trays, party trays. Put your dip in the middle, whatever. Okay, these are cute for storage. It's like a little serving set. It's got these little things in it. Hmm, $10.94. I love this little detail on the side. We've got these buckets over here. So pretty. Ooh, look. Multi-use caddy. I love these clear glass bowls. They're only $1.38. I really like them a lot. Oh man, y'all know my favorite saying is let it be because that was my dad's favorite Beatles song. We played it at his funeral. Look at these mugs. $3.96. So freaking cute. Look at these. These are really nice. I love this color right here with the pink. Oh, we got like coral back there too. These are $22.98. I like that purple as well. We've got these top beach bags over here. These are $7.98, so great deal. Couple different options as far as color. I love that coral floral. Ooh, look at these volleyballs. These just make me happy because of the color. Ooh, have y'all ever seen this before? Precision Beauty. It's got all kinds of little stuff with it. Skin cleansing. It's got all the brushes, eye brushes, foundation brushes. Really cool. How much is this thing? I know it's not $3.98. Wow, look at this huge Wet n Wild palette. Wild Heart, I've never seen this before. It is $15.98. Y'all, I have so many NYX butter glosses, but look at this one. This one's really pretty. It's called Summer Fruit. I'm getting it. Okay, y'all, how many times have you seen All May mentioned in the past, like, I don't know, 10 years? I forgot All May even existed. Let me see if I can get in this slide, but they have this new foundation. And I've been looking for a new foundation because I hate foundation, so anything that's not full coverage it's cover clear calm restore clear, clear complexion makeup hmm it's 11.97 let me know if you've tried this should i buy it oh, I don't know. they also have all of these mascaras as well length and lift mascara i do not do waterproof but they're interesting all may's making a comeback Maybe they've been back. Maybe I just didn't know. Profusion Cosmetics Blend and Wonder Makeup Sponge with Case. What is this? Is this a palette? Yes, it is. How cool. We've got the brushes and then lashes, which I don't do fake lashes, but they have them. Okay, look at all these spring color solo cups. Tempted. Y'all, I did not know that they had planks for the washer and dishwasher. Fizzy drain. I use them for my sink, but I didn't know they had them for the other. Okay, this is pretty cool, and I'm pretty sure that these are new. They're selling just Lay's, just Funyuns, just Doritos, just Flamin' Hot Cheetos, $5.94 for a 10 pack. They're all the same. I've never seen these before. Okay, I found these citrus sparkling waters. Now, I'm not a huge fan of these. Y'all know I'm not like a huge fan of artificial sweeteners or anything like that, but Alex loves sparkling water and they have a citrus flavor. I did not know that Walmart carried that. Ooh, have we seen this brand before? Vegan cream cheese, garlic and herbs, cream cheese and cheddar. Original cream cheese and cream cheese with chives. All right, I don't like these drinks. I know everybody loves these. And do these have artificial sweeteners in them? I don't like energy drinks, period, to be honest with you. Um, but this is naturally flavored. Let's see, gluten-free, vegan, biotin, B6 and B12, sucralose. Oh. <laughs> I do wanna try it, because I said all of the other ones were nasty. I told my friends that love them that they're disgusting. Uh, I don't think I've tried the blue slush either, but they said the mimosa is the best. So I might just give it a try just for my own entertainment. Look, here is that sea salt caramel you need to get if you want to make that drink I showed in the beginning. Yes, yes, hunty. Ooh, I've never seen these oatmeal raisin. This box is like oatmeal raisin and chocolate goods. $3, but the box literally... How many ounces is this? Four ounces, oh my gosh, and half of it's the box. Okay, so I was gonna come in here and be like, show y'all what's new at Walmart as far as like clothes. Hey, 
You want to interrupt me for the trash compactor? What does this look like? Anyway, as I was saying, I was going to do like where I did a shot with me and showed y'all the new clothes, but honestly, I think I'm going to put that in a separate video and just do a whole spring fashion video because I know y'all like that. So I'm going to head on out of Walmart. I'm going to show a few more things if I see it in the grocery section, but I have so much to show y'all in my next Walmart video. So stay tuned. Are you subscribed? Do you have the notification bell on? Tapping now. Ooh, have y'all seen these hoops mix by the Oots brand? Is that how you say it? Am I saying it right? I know somebody's gonna correct me if I'm not, but if I'm not, I don't care. These look pretty cool. Y'all, people make fun of me for saying Reese's, okay? Reese's. If you live in the South, like the majority of the people you know, most of the time are gonna say Reese's. Yes, we know it's Reese's, but we just say Reese's because we want to and we do and that's how we were raised, okay? So get over it. You're not gonna change our mind. What the heck are these? Eat your greens, eat your yams, eat your beans. Beans and peas seasoning. Lord, I've seen it all. All right, first things first, I got two cases of water because we needed them. We like to stock up. Actually, I have plenty, but I wanna get some more because I wanted to. Also, I'm not bringing them in. I'm gonna wait for Alex to do it because uh, I don't feel like pulling a muscle in my back. I have a chronic pain syndrome and it's not fun when I have a flare up. Also, y'all will be proud of me. I have my Sam's Club insulated bag in my trunk, which a lot of you told me to do that. I also have an umbrella back here. I don't know if you can see it. And then first aid kit. I think everybody should have a first aid kit in their car no matter what. All right. First off, got some Sam's Cola for the girls and Alex. I am still on my water kick and I'm like, it's right here in my bubble cup. I carry it around everywhere and I'm like, the prices of soda, like name brand, are absolutely astronomical. So I'm just not gonna buy those. Until berries and cream, Dr. Pepper, and dark berry come back out because let's face it. All right, so for this grocery haul, like I said, I did a lot of stocking up. So Alex likes to use like these drink sweeteners and so do the girls when they take like water to school or whatever. And then y'all know I've been drinking a lot of water, but I didn't want any like artificial sweeteners in them. So I thought I would give these a try, hopefully, and they're good. I read the ingredients and there's no sucralose or aspartame or anything like that in there. So hopefully we're good on that. I got a gallon of milk and a gallon of chocolate milk, raspberries, blueberries. My kids go through those like crazy. We got some more bananas, strawberries. Y'all, Walmart's strawberries always look kind of sketch. And you know what? A lot of times I'll get them and they'll be mold on the bottom. So I don't know why I continue to buy them from Walmart, but it is what it is. These don't have mold, so hopefully we're good. I got two red peppers. I actually was a substitute because I ordered green peppers. I got some more salad mix. I got six cans of reduced sodium chicken broth, six cans of pasta sauce, Stoke cold brew coffee. I did find my Irish cream creamer when I went to Ingles, so that's good. If you watch the whole video, you know I got this. I do not have high hopes for that, but you know. I got six cans of beef broth. I got this four pack of cream of chicken. They did not have any single cans and I don't like the great value brand. It's just not good. I'll have great value brand and just about everything else, but cream of chicken, no. Also got some bagels. I got three cans of tomato paste. I actually thought I got like five, but maybe not. I got some jalapeno cheddar dip for Alex. He loves this stuff. Got tons of sparkling ice water for Alex and I even got this, which I've never seen that flavor before, so let me know if your Walmart's had it for a while. Alex, I know, hasn't tried it, so I got that for him. As far as cereal goes, I got Cocoa Pebbles and Captain Crunch. Aubrey and Alex are the big cereal eaters in our family. And then, I don't even know how this happened. The Walmart app got me again. Why? I do not know. So yes, I ended up with four, and I'm going to have to come up with all of these ground beef recipes now this week. So this doesn't go bad, because I already got some in the freezer, okay? So if you were going to suggest that... My freezer's full. I got these wavy original potato chips for Alex. They actually substituted the party size, so can't beat that. I got the Simply Cheeto Puffs for myself. I got the toasted sour cream and onion rich chips for Aubrey and Ansley. And then 
I've never tried salmon from Walmart, like they're fresh salmon, so <laughs> I'm hoping it's good. I'm hoping, I wanna try it in the air fryer, so wish me luck. I got some chicken flavor and beef flavor ramen noodles. I got these shoes when I was in there. They had one of my size left. I didn't even try them on. Probably should have did that because I tried on another pair of shoes in there. They were a size nine. I'm normally a size eight and a half and they were massively huge. And I put on an eight and they were still kind of big. So hopefully these will fit. These look like they're narrow. So I have pretty narrow feet. And then Dayquil because Alex, he's kind of got a cold right now. And then I got these snuggle dryer sheets and I only got 40 because I'm a cheapo. Everything else was like $6.47 and I'm refusing to pay $6.47 for some dryer sheets. It's probably a bit better value, but you know what? I don't care. I'm just the way I am. It is what it is. You get what you get and you don't pitch a fit. I got two of these because I run out. And then I got this volleyball for Ansley. I'm gonna put this in her Easter basket. She's really interested in getting into volleyball and I showed these in the store and I thought these were really pretty colors. So grab that. That was $10.997. I got these two clear bowls, love those. And then I did get this new NYX Butter Gloss. I don't, well, I don't know if it's new or a new flavor, but flavor. It's in the color Summer Fruit. So I hope I like that. And yeah, that is all I caught. I gotta hurry up and put this stuff away. Go get the girls for school. I got some packages over there. I think one might be a PR package. If it is, I'll show you. And then Ansley has her first night of soccer practice tonight. So we have a busy night. Okay, let's see what I got from Amazon just because I told y'all I would show y'all real quick. Let's see. And then we'll see if this is a PR package. I think it is. Oh, it is a King Cube ice tray, slow melting. It's one of those, do you ever go like to like a bar or something and they have the big ice cubes for like if you get a whiskey sour or something? Um, I ordered these for Alex. I'm really excited. Hold on. All right, so let's open it up. You guys can't see me, but see, it's like a little silicone ice tray. It sounds like I'm saying a bad word, but it's just my accent. So there's that. Now let's see what's in the other package. Let's open this bad boy up and see what is inside. Hopefully it's something fun, fun, fun. It is it's a PR package from Tangle Teaser. All right, so this is what is in it. Y'all are getting a first look. I'm probably gonna show this on Instagram too, but oh my goodness, look at all of the goodies inside. These are gonna be perfect for Ansley because she has tangling hair just like me. So we probably share some of these. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you subscribe and I will have more videos to come to show you what's new. Make sure you check below in the description box to see all of the ingredients for the recipe I made and check out the chef's knife from Meeson. It is amazing. You will love it and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.